good morning. Come on. It is early. I am up and running to the store to get a couple of things before Lars and Augusta leaves. They're going to my mother-in-law's today for a Christmas party. Elle and I are not going because she has her dress rehearsal for her ballet performance today. And if they don't show up, they don't get to perform. So dress rehearsal is a must. But yeah, I better run so we can get things done. I'll talk to you later. walk around downtown Alberg while Ella was dancing. She was there for like two and a half hours. They had their dress rehearsal today. Um, I took a bit of footage that I will, well, if you haven't seen it already, then it's going to come right after this talk. <laughs> I don't know um, how it will fit in while I'm editing. I'll have to see. But Ella and I are back home. Uh, Ella's in the living room watching a movie, so you might hear her in the background. And I'm here finally sipping my tea of the day. This is Java, an Indonesian tea. And I have to say when I opened it and I smelled it, I thought this might be 
too much of a black tea for me, but I actually really like it. It's very nice. Mm, tiny bit of a fruity taste, not too much. Very nice, kind of like a good breakfast tea. Very lovely. So I will enjoy that while I do a little bit of knitting. I have decided that I really, I really, really, really want to finish my test knit today. I'm sorry I'm being so secretive about it, but that was some of the conditions. I will show it, of course, as soon as I can, both on here on YouTube and on my Instagram. Um, and thank you guys for finding me on Instagram as well and following me, following along over there as well. That's very nice. I am the Playful Knitter in case you want to go check it out. So, yeah. I think the rest of the day we're just going to take it easy. Ella's tired. Her foot's hurting a bit from all the dancing. But I'm so excited to go see them on Tuesday. Actually, usually I would have seen her already because I do teach along with her ballet teacher. We teach the youngest ballet students together. Um, we do a combination of ballet and music. I am the music part and Peter is the ballet teacher. He's wonderful. He's actually just home from San Francisco. He came home to Denmark, I think, maybe four. The time thing is weird after COVID with the lockdowns and everything, but I think it maybe like four or five years ago, he came back to Denmark. He was born here and then he lived in San Francisco for lots of years and New York, I think. He lived in the States for a lot of years. So, but we're teaching together, but not this month because I am taking a hiatus for my work for lots of reasons. Not that I don't love my job, because I really do, but I had been just feeling overwhelmed after my mother passed away and just really worn out. So I thought that I would do something good for myself in December. And uh, Lars and I agreed that it was an opportunity that I could take. So I am here at home taking care of my family, taking care of myself, and really, truly enjoying it so much. It's nice to just find yourself again and have plenty of time for the girls. Yeah. But Lars is at his mother's house today. She has her Christmas party and Augusta was better. Thank you for all your kind greetings for her and well wishes. She is better today. So she went with daddy on a road trip. Boy, was he excited to, that the teenager wanted to go with him. So yeah, they're road tripping it and having a nice time being spoiled at grandma's house. <laughs> she makes the best Brussels sprout salad. And I know the Brussels sprout thing, it's, you think Brussels sprouts like, ugh. But her Brussels sprout salad that she makes at Christmas, oh my gosh. I hope that they might bring a little something home for me. She is usually, usually very kind. If we're not all there, she will send home food. <laughs> That's so nice. So yeah. But the rest of the day is going to be quiet, just... I will knit along on my test knit because really all that I'm craving right now is vanilla socks. I am loving, oh my gosh, I love them so much. My Cozy Knitter Advent socks. Oh, that stripe a day is just pure joy for me. So I want to be done with the test knit. Not that it's boring or annoying or anything. I just, I really want to knit, knit vanilla socks. It's my jam and I want to do more of it. The vanilla socks and the jelly roll blanket mm -mm -mm, is just what I need right now. Peace and quiet in my mind. So yeah, I will drink my tea. I will catch up on today's vlogmases and knit. And I think Ella and I are just doing mac and teas for dinner. That's her favorite and that's fine with me. I'll probably do a piece of bread instead. Um, but yes, that will be the day. If anything exciting <laughs> should happen, I will show you. And if not, thank you for being here and I will see you tomorrow. Mm, yeah, that really is good. Mm, yummy. I was gonna do socks of the day and then these two happened. 
Hello, kitty cats. <laughs> Are you being buddies? <laughs> Maybe. All right, well, let's do socks of the day. So my socks today are a plain vanilla sock, but they are knitted in my favorite, favorite, favorite self-striping yarns from A Lonely Sock Lady. They were, this colorway was a part of um, last year's advent calendar. It's called Christmas in a Nutshell. I will link Lona's shop below. You can still buy this color. So vanilla sock with the shadow wrap heel. Socks of the day. Dude. The only thing I see is a tail. There's a tail. Boy, come on. You gotta get out of there. Ella has to wear that suit outside. Wait. No. <laughs> I'm going to get out the other way. <laughs> She's being very silly. Kitty. Sure, Kitty, come on. Yes, I'm here. What do you want? Siffer. <laughs> there he is. Come on, boy boy. I see a head. Boy, you need to get out now. <laughs> Siffer, no, no, don't step on boy. Don't step come on, on boy. Dude, come on out. It's Ella's suit. Come on. Good boy. <laughs> We've got ourselves quite the pair of scaredy cats here in the house. They wanted to go outside with Ella, but then they heard that the neighbor's kids were out. And then they ran right back inside. Because apparently they're scary. I mean, they're like behind the fence and everything, so they can't get to them. But voices of people that they don't know are apparently very, very scary. <laughs> so now here they are sitting, looking out at what Ella's doing. <laughs> and there she is. Sorry for the glare, you guys. It is getting dark. Ella just went outside to play a little bit in the snow. And I remember that I completely forgot to tell you the most important thing of the day. I forgot to tell you about the podcaster of the day. Today, the podcaster is Danish, like me. But she does podcast in English as well. I talked about her yesterday because I had on a shawl that she had designed. It is Pia from 50 Fabulous, and Pia is truly fabulous and amazing. She is such a kind, sweet, nice person. If you have, have not checked out her podcast, please go ahead and do so. I will, of course, link her YouTube channel below in the description box. Um, I have been following Pia for a, a long time, and recently, the last year she has done something new. She has put on a worldwide knitathon and got knitters together from all over the world. She did it last fall, just this fall and then uh, in springtime as well. And it was so much fun, such a treat. And um, I was lucky enough to be able to do a couple of small concerts. Um, I just, what I did is I went live on YouTube and I played some music while everybody was knitting. And it was, yeah, it was such a treat. Um, and Pia, of course, went live lots of times herself and she was knitting a sweater both times and she has patterns out with the, the knit along number one sweater and the knit along number two. And they're both just absolutely gorgeous. As are a lot of her other designs. So go check that out as well. I will link her Ravelry page. Yeah, that's probably, that'll be the easiest for you guys to find her. But first and foremost, I recommend you to go visit Pia on her channel. It is just absolutely lovely. 
So this is where I would normally invite you to sit back, relax, and let your stitches flow, but Pia's Christmas wish is a bit more upbeat. <laughs> I love it so much. She really gave me a challenge. Um, it's, um, it's like um, um, mashup. That's the word I'm looking for. It's like a mashup of two like songs. And it's amazing because I love both songs, but I would never have thought about it myself. But one of the songs, Don't Worry, Be Happy uh, by Bobby McFerrin, is one of my most favorite songs ever. And it really, it has a very special meaning for me also in my musical life because the type of choir music that I sing is very inspired by Bobby McFerrin and his um workings with music and stuff and yeah it's a lot of fun so i have done my own mashup of uh don't worry be happy and winter wonderland just for you pia <laughs> it is a little bit crazy and my piano is a little bit out of tune i don't know she's an old lady from the 1930 i think she's out actually from 1930 and she doesn't really like the cold. She needs a visit from the piano tuner, but I hope you will forgive me. And um, if you want to sit back, relax, and let your stitches flow, please do so. But if you feel the need to dance, just go ahead. <laughs> 